All right, welcome to Introduction to Machine Learning at New York University. I'm Sandeep Rangan. This is the third unit on multiple linear regression. If you're watching this unit on YouTube, check out the links below and you'll have access to all the demos, problems, and lectures, and other videos. So multiple linear regression is probably one of the most fundamental techniques in machine learning least in the sense that if you have a regression problem, this should be really your go-to method. If you know how to use it well, you can probably serve you well for most of the problems, particularly simple ones. All right, so what I'm gonna do in this lecture is I'm gonna show you how to set up a multiple linear regression problem mathematically. That means I'll put it into a little bit of a linear algebraic formulation. I'll show you the math behind how you fit the regression models. And then I'll also walk you through a little bit of how to perform those calculations in Python. Now, this class is actually the same repository is used for graduate students and undergraduate students. If you're an undergraduate student at NYU, before doing this lecture, this unit, you will have covered simple linear regression. Simple linear regression is a special case of multiple linear regression when there's only one feature. Some of the material in this lab unit will be, therefore be a little bit of a duplicate. I would also normally go over the linear algebra somewhat more slowly. However, for graduate students at NYU at least, you will skip unit two and go directly to this unit after the first unit. As a result, you should look at least at the material in unit two before starting this. And if you feel at all uncomfortable, work through those, that material, the demos and the problems before starting this um, unit uh, here. Now, either way, whether you're a graduate or undergraduate, by the time you get to this unit, you should have known how to install Python and run Python notebooks. You should be familiar with at least simple single variable models and be able to derive the fitting for those models. You also need to be able to do at least a little bit of basic plotting and array manipulations in Python. 